We learned our best opening for beginners. We used it in a following video to defeat all of the 15 beginner engines one by one. Now we're going to go ahead and play the intermediate. Guys, on the very first video where we learned the opening, we played already against this engine. Now I'm gonna move on to 1100, so I think this is a good one. Then we move on to 1200, then 1300, and maybe 1400, well, not maybe, but 1400 afterwards. So let me start with the first one. I'm going to hit play in the opening. Very simple to deploy the pieces to know where they belong. And after we focus on one of the two main middle game plans. Simplicity, not a lot of memorization. And if you've been training, doing your tactics, practicing, you should be okay, guys. Same thing, my king is going to castle. Then pawn goes to d3, and at this moment, we choose one of the two plans. And I think, by the look of it, f4 has to be the move. Don't forget, we've talked about h3 first, but here I think I'm just going to play f4. Now, you see, that's why we play h3 first. Now, not a big deal, we could do it after. Now they moved, now f5. Guys, again, if this looks weird, go back to the other two videos, okay? Now we take back, this king's in the center, so we should focus on that king. Knight f4, not safe, and here to defeat these 1100 engines, or players in general, it's about getting sharp at the basic tactics, the forks, the pins, the skewers, and of course, one move threats, hanging pieces. So this is not safe. Let me then just develop my bishop. Okay, my queen goes up so that I can bring the other rook. Connecting the rooks, always a good idea. And many people say, once you connect the, connect the rooks, this is the end of the opening. All right, I think I'm gonna take that. I think I'm gonna take that bishop. My knight goes to the center. We talked about this square so many times, you saw it in action. Now this rook that is doing nothing, same file, as the enemy king. Are they gonna castle? We don't know. All right, so they're just wasting moves. And now guys, the one tactic that continues to show in these beginner games, pins. The rook is indirectly putting pressure on the king. So when I take this pawn, they cannot take me back. The pawn is pinned. Okay, bishop is seven, there's no pin anymore. And now what can we do? What can we do? Well, let me just take on f6, that's a check. And don't forget, I'm winning by a pawn now, so the only thing I want is to simplify the game. One pawn is sufficient to just simplify. Now this knight, I wanted to land on d5, so I'm going to go e2, c3, d5, that's it. Okay, bishop g5, we gotta move the queen, and we're going to go to b4 to attack that pawn. Okay, knight goes to c3. Remember, I just want to get to d5. We got there it nicely attacking the queen. I don't really care if they get this pawn because we, we could take on d6. Now, remember what I told you guys. We have to do it, but even if we didn't, simplification is always uh, nice because we're winning by so much. Now, pawn, rook takes pawn. We're winning now by two pawns. And then it's just a matter of continuing to activate the pieces. Look, these rooks are not connected. Mine are, my pieces are very well coordinated. This is looking good for us. Now, what to do next? I like 97, why not? <laughs> now look at this, f6 looks very nice. If the king takes, we have knight d5 check and the rooks are activated to collect over here. So let's do it. If they don't take us, king has to go away. They did, they did take us, so check. And now we're going to collect on e8. So that's another piece for us. There you go. Now we're winning by pawn and piece. They give us another rook. This is just too easy now, guys, just too easy. Simple chess, rook goes to b7 on the seventh rank. They said they don't care. We don't have to take these pawns, but I'm going to take it. Then knight goes to f4, attacking the pawn. 
wishing they took my knight. They said no. And now my pieces work together to collect everything. Yes, we could have taken this pawn, probably the best move. But let me focus on just hitting that king. Okay, now we take. This would be checkmate in two moves. They said no. Hmm. They said no. Okay, we bring pawns up then. We got a pass pawn. We've talked about this. Let's push. There we go. And by the way, this is the discovered check. I don't know why I'm not using it. Well, we want to do checkmate. That's why. That's why. Can we do some like rook f6? Ah, checkmate in two moves. I think I had this for a long time, guys. Check. King has to leave. And then checkmate. Unbelievable. Well, this is more like beginner stuff, right? Like we don't see these checkmates, but we focus on easy plans. Easy plan, pushing the pawn up, guys. As you get more experienced, you're going to find these checkmate ideas uh, quicker. Okay, so let me go to the next one. That was an 1100. Now Maria is, or Maria is 1200. Let's see what Maria plays against this opening. Okay, this one is looking more like a king's pawn opening okay bishop b4 now bishop d4 notice that you could play knight d5 right away we've talked about this square for the knight if you don't like to get double pawns you could do that or you could play knight e2 or you could ignore it and just play g3 i'm going to ignore it to stay in our elements just play g3 bishop g2 and yes we talked about this if they took we already know what to do, what's the plan if they took, right? So knight g2, e2. I'm doing my thing. Now let me castle first. It doesn't matter if you do d3 first or not, by the way. But Okay. Now that didn't let us play um, bishop g5. Well, we go for the other plan. So f4, same thing. They didn't take us. Well, I'm gonna go f5. Look at this pawn chain, how nice. Gaining space on the king side. Now, h3, I gotta be careful with these checks. Well, this has to be right, guys. This move has to be right. Now, let me see. We've talked about this, but they have queen c5. Knight d5, queen c5. If I play d4, pawn takes. Now, you know what? The only thing I want you to take away from this game is be careful when, when you see the knight on g4, be careful with checks, and then they get us in trouble. That's one of the things when we push the f-pawn. Yes, it's going to get you in trouble a few times, but then you're going to learn the lesson. Well, I pushed, I pushed the pawn, knight on g4, let me be prophylactic. So this is a good way to be prophylactic, or you could play queen e1. Um, now, which one do I want to do? Knight d5 is so attractive, but let me just go king h1. Now, the other thing, guys... I told you, I've been telling you all this time. Back here before I played f4, I should have played h3. That takes care of the knight or the bishop going to g4. So that's why I want you to play the opening and you're going to be learning a lot from it. You see, this pattern is already in the air. Now, this d4 does it work. Pawn takes, knight a4. Now, let me just go queen e1. This is one way to deal with that. Okay, they did that, okay. Now my knight goes to d5, that's a fork. Oh man, I didn't see, <laughs> look, it works, but I have to admit, I didn't see this, the knight was pinned. So you see, at this level, 1200, it's about these simple tactics, the pins, the forks, being sharp. So, let's see. Okay, oh wait, we take. Luckily, we were hitting the queen as well, but that was not cool. Okay, knight d5 again. Now, should we take the bishop? Should we take the pawn? I'm going to take the pawn. Now, I'm winning by one pawn. All I'm thinking from this moment on is simplify the game. Nothing more. So, let me go back to my square. And f6. This, you've seen it, is thematic. Let me take, I'm hitting the rook. Okay, they don't care. Let me take over here. 
Now C3, now notice that we're going to do something a little bit different, but it only makes sense. Just claiming that center. Um, let me double up my rocks. This is the only semi-open file, so we're gonna put the rooks on it. All right, guys, this is a free pawn. I'm going to take it. Now we're winning by two pawns, not one. And by the way, at this level, we see this a lot. They give us a pawn. Many beginners don't give enough importance to pawns, but pawns are so important. I'm thinking of simplifying the game. I'm going to be with two extra pawns. Those pawns become a queen, and we win the game, right? So I'm gonna take. Now, happy to simplify. And then knight d4, inviting them to trade pieces. They said no, check. Now I take the pawn because when the king takes me, that's a deflection. We just collect on f6. They said no as well. Oof, look at this tactic. Take, and then e5, the same tactic we've, we've been seeing from the other video, discovered, discovered, discovered. The only thing is, when I play five, they go back and they could take my knight. They could take my knight. I mean, I'm gonna be hitting the rook. Uh, is it necessary? It's not necessary. Not yet. All right, let me move the knight. I'm hitting the bishop. I'm gonna play e5 anyways. And remember, I'm not looking, in this case, there's no nice tactic, but simplification is good for me. Okay, should I push? Now, in the end game, important, we gotta start using the king. Notice how this game got to an end game. We didn't get that before. We did not get that before. All right, let me go rook d1, trying to use the open files to attack. h3, defending the knight. Okay, this rook is not going to do anything for now. Let me get the rook to the seventh rank. Yes, probably better to go to d6, but now we do it. We got the pawn. Now, they could take on h3. Now, we could block with the knight, or we could just move the king out of the way. I know my knight is hanging, but if I go king g2, they take the knight. I have rook g6, and I could get the bishop. I could get the rook. So I should be okay with that. Let's see what happens. Well, they took it. This is what a 1200 player should be doing, or at least the engine, okay? Now, do I wanna take the rook or do I wanna take the bishop? We take the bishop. We are winning by three pawns. This should be pretty, pretty easy. Now, let me go and collect pawns. Nothing more. Check. Then I, I'm going after the other pawn. And notice that this is a pin. So if, even if they had defended, I could add more pressure to it. Now it's just a matter of promoting your pawns, guys. Push. Okay, now final opportunity to simplify the game completely. And now if you remember the rule of the square, there's no way that king is going to get my pawn. So I push. And then we also should know the basic checkmates. So... Let me cut off the king. Then cut off the king, knight jump position. And now it's just a matter of bringing the king over and checkmate finally on g7. Sandwich checkmate, longer game. This one was 59 moves. Against beginners, we were defeating them in 20 moves more or less, right? All right, new game. Maria was a 1200. Let's look for Nelson now. Now, Nelson. My students hate this bot because it's just moving the queen around. And even though it's bad, they have to be very careful or they could get in trouble. So there we go, same thing. And queen h4, you see, this is what he does. Now, luckily for us, with this opening, we're supposed to do the fianchetto, and that comes with a tempo. Now, knight d5, so inviting, I'm going to just place my knight right there. And just like that, I develop my pieces at the expense of that queen. Okay, bishop g2. I castled. Now, should I take? Now, I'm gonna bring my knight to c3. Now, I'm bringing the knight over here because I could replace my knight. 
but also I'm threatening to play knight b5, hitting the queen and hitting this pawn one more time with both knights. Now, most likely they're going to take. Nope. All right, Nelson. Okay, so now not only do we take. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I mean, this is just pretty nice. But should we take with you or with the other one? Cha cha cha. Now, I want to take here. Now, that's not only a pawn, we also get the rook. So this is now completely winning, guys. Completely winning. D3, that's the move that we were missing. Okay, bishop. Let me go to e3. Now, check. Simple tactics. Oh, that's not even check. What am I saying? I'm going to threaten check now. Um, should I threaten check? Or bishop c7? <laughs> Okay, let me go check. Now, at least, at the very least, I'm attacking that king. Now, guys, discovered check. This is just too easy. My knight goes to hit something important because the bishop is doing check. They cannot even take me because of that check. So again, it is the simple tactics. It is the simple tactics. All right. What to do? Well, d4, not only because I'm winning, I'm winning by nine points, clean queen. So let me just open up the game, trying to get to the king, trying to simplify. There we go. Bishop d4, looking for trades. Trade, 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 trade. Mm, f4, attack that knight. This f4 thematic, but when you do it, pay attention to the diagonals, guys. Pay attention to it. Okay, e5, the king, remember, it cannot castle. See that check? We knew it was coming. Be careful now not to take and open up this bishop as well. So, simplification. Now, it'll be very ugly to see this bishop hitting us through the, through the diagonal, so we should do something about it. For now, let me improve my queen. Let me bring the rook over. And this is just overwhelming advantage. Check, and then checkmate. So, Nelson was actually way easier than Maria. That was 29, still longer than the other one seconds beginners. And that was a 1300. So new game should be against a 1400. Now, let me play Mateo, the last one of the intermediate. So same opening. Now here we have French defense. I don't care, I'm gonna take. And guys, if you're playing, this is something that Again, I told you, best opening for beginners should be easy to implement, not a lot of memorization. Now, as you play it over and over and over, by now, we played 15 bots before, then this is like the 20th, you should be getting this move. If we just play g3, d4 could be pretty annoying. So you might just play d4 right here. Whenever you get this situation, and you're gonna be fine. However, just to stay in my elements, I'm gonna play g3, We should be okay. d4, you gotta remember this move. You see, now you gotta memorize a little bit. Just know that if you go knight e4 right now, f5, and I think your, bitch, your knight is trapped. So we go with check first. And this is something I know from before, from playing the opening. Um, not, it's not that I just figured this out, right? Now, if they had played something like bishop e7, we go knight e4. If they play f5, then we go to g5, because the queen is pinning the bishop. So pin, pin, pin. Now, in the game, they block with the queen. Let me put my knight on d5, hitting that queen. Guys, that d5 square is so important for the knight. Knight goes to e2, as it normally does, and I'm hitting so many things now. So, Mateo is 1400, but I think Mateo didn't have breakfast today. <laughs> so, there we go. Now, d3, because I need to get the bishop out to help the knight leave that... Uh, black territory. Okay, let's get out. Simplification, that would be great. Yeah, they don't think so. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna get the knight out. So that means we got the rook for free. We're winning by five points. Get out. Now, knight d6 was probably better, but I played fast. Now, pay attention to these little threats. There's one move threats, but we have to be careful. 
Now bishop g2, why? Because I'm winning by five points. So simplification. If they don't take us, we take the knight. I'm not so concerned about my king in the center now because they have no queens, their pieces are not developed. But anyways, let me put the king to safety. Simplification, happy to see that. Now, I need to bring this knight into the game. So knight b1, knight b2, knight e4. All right, they're attacking us, good. Let me play, I could play f3 or f4. Idea to open up my rook to defend the knight. But I don't want this knight to bother me. So let me put the, the pawn on f3. Okay. Knight to d2. Ah, I wanted to get there. Not today. Not today. Okay, rook e2. If they take the knight, I take the rook. If they take my rook, my knight takes. Oof, that was a good move. That was a really good move. Okay, that was a good move. That was a 1400 move. Now, if I take, they take back, both knights are being attacked. If I move the knight, they get the rook. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we gotta give something back. We gotta give something back. Now, this is an end game, so I'm gonna take with the king to start activating the king. Then my rook goes to the open file. We're still winning. We have knight versus knight and rook versus this other knight. This should be pretty easy. Careful with silly tactics. These are the things that are going to get us in trouble. So I could play knight g1 to defend or rook e3. Rook e3, careful with f4, but everything is defended. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me go here, try to get the pawn. Mm -hmm. Now look, if I go right here, one square diagonally from the knight, they're going to keep putting me in check. I know they want this pawn, but in general, if you put him diagonally, one square in between, that knight is not going to bother me anymore. So stay away from there. Okay, now rook e4, trying to get that pawn. They don't want me to, fine. Okay, let me bring the rook all the way to attack those pawns, guys. Okay. 94, that's a check, I defend, and now I go after the pawns. The rook is way better than the knight, we should be okay. Now, let me go up, attacking the knight. Let me go here, attacking the knight, and the knight is sort of getting itself trapped. I take the pawn, attacking the knight. I take the other pawn, making sure this knight is not going to get me in trouble. And now this is just too easy. Finally simplified the game. Now look, I really wanted to go here, but they, they have a fork. I have to be so careful. All right, let me play before. Mm, check. Okay, then I go after this other pawn. Now look at this, the knight at the, in the corner, knights are pretty clumsy. So now rook g2, it keeps the knight slave. That's it. Now I could bring my king around, try to get the pawn, try to get the, the knight, but instead I'm just gonna focus on my past pawns. That's it. And sorry guys that I'm playing fast, pre-moving, but this is just pretty straightforward. I'm not even gonna focus on getting that knight. Okay, so let me go check. Here, just to make sure the knight doesn't get activated. Let's cut off the king a little bit more. Push. And that's checkmate, that's it. All right guys, these games were not nearly as smooth as the ones against the beginners but you saw the opening in action one more time. Every time we learn a new opening, we want people to do exactly what we learned, but more often than that, they do something completely different. So you gotta really understand the main ideas